He golfs at the right field. Burleson back at the wall, and it is gone. Second big league home run for Pete Crow Armstrong. And a big one. Cubs on the board here in the third. It's a 2 1 game. Yeah, he's got that in his toolkit, too. He's got a little power, no doubt about it. Might as well be aggressive, see one you like. Go ahead and take a whack at it. And he does. He hits it deep to right field. Burleson back, and it is gone. <laughs> Biggest hit in a Cub uniform for Tomas Nita. Solo shot, book by first Cubs lead of the day. They're up three to two. But Tomas Nino shows pretty good power the other way. I didn't know he had that in him. The bottom of the order is to the production overall. That's lifted the center. Newt Bar back. It's a multi home run game for Pete Crow Armstrong. How about that? Back to back Jacks. Cubs for Cardinals too. This is fun. So I guess my question would be that pitch is hit well deep to left field and that is gone. We'll put that on hold for a second. Some Morel magic before the break. Two run bomb. It's six to two Cubs. Yeah, the home runs breaking out in a big way here today against Miles Michaelis. He had allowed just 13 home runs. In 107 innings pitch coming into play here today. One one. Ian drills one to center. Newt Bar watches book by Ian Happ. <laughs> Stay hot. Ian Happ home run number 15. And a handful of homers for the Cubs. It's seven to three. <laughs> And here's Morrell back to back again for the Cubbies. Oh, baby. First career multi home run game for Christopher Morrell. Number 18. It's eight to three Cubs at JD. This is so much fun. <laughs>